Well, hi there and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Kareth and I call myself the freeze-dried foodie because I love to develop delicious recipes using freeze-dried food. I use it both for long-term storage and for everyday cooking. Today's recipe is for a meal in a jar, country-style steak bites and gravy. There aren't many ingredients in this dish, but it is not short on flavor. Every time I use our Espanol sauce, I feel like a chef. The flavors are complex and deep. I'll put the full recipe in the video description box below. Now I'm assembling this in a quart size jar because I'm gonna include the mashed potatoes in the top of this jar. Now this meal will make two portions. So if you're cooking for one, you should have some leftovers. But if you need to feed more people, you could always double this recipe and just put the potatoes in a different jar. Our mashed potatoes are literally just that. They're just potatoes. So I do like to add everything I would typically put into my homemade mashed potatoes. I like to add that into this to improve the flavor. But of course, it's totally up to you. These steak bites would also be good served over rice or maybe egg noodles. But when I was growing up, we ate these over mashed potatoes. Once you get your ingredients in the bag, you can seal it up and throw in an oxygen absorber, and then you should be good to go. If you don't wanna make the potatoes with this, just use a pint-sized jar instead. So this is what you'll have in your pantry. You can actually assemble several of these meals at a time without much additional effort. Just be sure to label them and include the instructions for preparation. I usually use a Sharpie and it comes off with nail polish remover. All you do to prepare this is add water. <laughs> That's it, really. The mashed potatoes, they cook very quickly. So just take them out of the jar and you can save them the very last bit. And for the steak bites, you'll need a medium sized skillet and you'll just empty the steak mixture into there and you're going to add two cups of water as with all freeze-dried food you'll need to be patient as these ingredients rehydrate it can take some time just be sure to stir it well Make sure all of the ingredients are in contact with the water. But if you'll remember, you're working with freeze dried ingredients, so they are literally dry. You have to add the water back in as you cook with them. So it does take some time for those to rehydrate. They call it to refresh. So try to just be patient with it. You will turn your heat to medium and then bring this up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, give it a good stir and then you can just put your lid on there, turn down your heat to low and just let it simmer for about 20 minutes. This is what it looks like after 20 minutes. Isn't that pretty? The color deepens. The sauce gets thicker. And at this point, my steak was tender. But I do recommend you give it a taste test and make sure that your steak is tender. I let it go for five more minutes because I wanted my gravy to be a little bit thicker. At this point, you can go ahead and get a cup and a half of water to a simmer for the mashed potatoes. Just pour the mashed potatoes in there and stir, and that's it. Uh, they are called instant mashed potatoes for a reason. <laughs> they come together instantly. If these are too thick, you can add milk or water, but I like them thick because I kind of made a well in the center, and that was for my gravy. I think it was a little bit too thick, but it was still good. This is what it looks like when you serve it up. This just reminds me of my childhood. 
I think this is so pretty and y'all it tastes fantastic. You will love this recipe. My husband and I just gobbled this up. It was delicious. Well, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you guys. If you're interested in any of the ingredients you see featured in my videos, please click on my shopping link. Thrive Life is currently available in the USA and in Canada, and the groceries will be delivered straight to your door. Well, y'all take care, and until next time, keep thriving.